Okay, so today we're going to talk about a new color group. We already know that we have our primary colors and our secondary colors. Our primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. When I mix these colors, then I get my secondary colors. So when we mix red and yellow, we get what? That's right, orange. And then when we mix our yellow with our blue, we get, anyone wanna guess? That's right, green. We also have red, and blue, and when we mix that together, it's gonna make, what? Purple, good. So we know these to be our primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. And we know these to be our secondary colors, orange, green, and purple. So today what I'm gonna do is take all these colors and I'm gonna put them in rainbow order. Let's go red. Who comes next? That's right, orange. These look very similar even though they are different. <laughs> then we have yellow. Red, orange, yellow, Roy. G is green. Blue. And violet. Or purple. Good. So today we're going to group these colors into warm and cool colors. So when you think warm, you think of fire, sun, all things hot. My warm colors are going to be here at the top of my rainbow. They are going to be my reds, my oranges, and my yellows. These are warm. These, are, these make me feel warm. Okay? And then these down here at the bottom of my rainbow, my green, my blue, and my purple, they, they are my cool colors. They make me feel cool. I think of snow, I think of ice, I think of shadows, warm things here. So today what we're going to do is we're going to do a project based on warm and cool colors. Let me show you what that is. Okay, so what we're making um, is going to be a skyline. And above the city, we're going to make warm colors, and below we're gonna mirror it with cool colors in design, but not colors. So what I want you to do is I want you to hamburger fold your paper. This is going to be our line at which we draw our city. So there I have my nice fold, and then I'm just gonna grab my pencil, and I'm gonna do my best to just, you know, if you have a ruler, go ahead, if you don't, Find a straight edge. I have a folder sitting here. I'm just going to make a nice straight edge. Okay, right through the middle of my picture. Okay, so from here, I'm just going to mm, just add some buildings. Let's go up tall for tall scrapers. You can use a ruler again if you want to. Uh oh, I probably should. Look at that. Okay, but remember to draw light until you get it right. Then go darker or trace with a marker. This does not have to be perfect, guys, gals. Okay, so here's my, here's my line. Here's my city line. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, as I look at it now that it's finished, I'm just gonna go back and I'm gonna kinda, I'm trying to light up my, there we go, shadows out. I'm going to just kind of even up my buildings, okay? 
you can put some windows in there and what you could do is you can leave those um, you know blank so that when you do the background you will put some color in there so you're not going to cover them up you don't have to let me even up this building I want to put another building up here next to this building you know that first little sketch was just a rough draft and we get to add to it as much as we please these are going to be black so don't worry about all these little marks that we're making it doesn't have to be perfect so then what I'm gonna do is I'm either gonna take a black crayon or a black marker or whatever I have if you don't have a black marker or crayon you can just go in and and color with your pencil I'm going to outline my building nice and carefully okay and then I'm gonna color the space in All right, now from here, we're going to just go ahead and add our stone. So I'm going to find a pencil, right light till you get it right. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do my best to make a circle. And I'm going my circle right in the middle of the paper, okay? It does not have to be perfect. But once you get your circle started, you can go in if you're wanting it to be close to perfect and you can fix it, okay? So I'm gonna go here. Draw a light till you get it right, that way you can go in and I can erase these things here, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is make some sun lines, okay? Same thing up here. These are not gonna be colored, these are going to be um, drawn nice and dark so don't worry about it these aren't going to be the major part of the picture so here we have it let me see if I can get you a nice picture um, get my head out of the light so I made a nice circle and I made a sun okay so from here I'm gonna get my colored pencils out my warm colors are my reds and my oranges and my yellows and you should have lots of options if you don't um and like the previous videos that i've made i only had a couple options and it worked so i'm going to start here by going let's just say orange here in the bottom and i'm coloring all the way over my marker because my color is going to reflect behind my picture through my windows okay so i'm going to go a couple colors in here in my in my sun. I'm gonna go orange, then I'm gonna go red above it. I'm gonna kinda overlap it so it can blend a bit. Okay, and then I am going to hit the top with some yellow. Okay, hit the top with some yellow. Let's go bright yellow. I'm going to blend, blend, blend it a little bit. And a little bit over. So, here we have it. Okay, it's kind of fading up. And then, I'm going to flip my paper over. I'm going to do the exact same thing with my cool colors. Let's just pick three. Let's go green, blue. Let's see if I can find a purple in here. Ah, or a light blue. Now let's do a purple. Can I find a purple? Hmm. Nope, can't find a purple. Not that lucky. Ah, so let's go dark and light blue and then this green. So let me start and go my darker. Let's go green here in the beginning. Okay, we're going about a third of the way up again. All the way to the edge here. Okay, so just going to reflect my sun. Doesn't have to be perfectly right on the color scheme. It's pretty. All right, so then I'm going to take my blue. I will laugh a little bit. Ooh, there. Nope, just kidding. It looked blue. It's actually purple. Woohoo! So there we go. Good. I'm glad I had a purple. Going all the way to the edge if I can. All the way to the edge if I can. Overlapping a little bit. Okay, again, I'm going to go. 
go into my over here. Okay. Just play around with it. We did a lot of this blending when we mixed our colors for our mixing project on the secondary colors. Remember, you can get those colors to blend and mix. I'm actually going to go in a little bit more of that purple into my blue. Just play around with it. So here we go. We've got our warm colors up top. We have our cool colors down below. And so then what I want you to do from here is I want you to just go ahead and pick a color, okay? A warm color or a cool color and color in these rays. Then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing up here with my warm colors. I'm just gonna pick a color. I'm just gonna color right over top of my city line, okay? Color those rays. So now I'm gonna go back in with my marker and I'm gonna trace the sun and the reflection of the sun. Okay, and for my finished project, here it is. I have my skyline and my warm colors up top, my cool colors down below. Have fun, send me some pictures, make your skyline.